So I'll, I'll start by saying, before I went for encounter, I was struggling with, I had this secret sin that I was struggling with. The sin, it was just the foundation of it all. Every other thing, lying and the rest was just because of this particular secret sin. I did drugs. It was it drugs? It was more than drugs, actually, because I could. You can imagine a girl walking up to where they sell um, SK and weed, saying, "Guy, I beg, rojami SK." It was just like it was easy for me. Even my mom caught me um, smoking and in the house. It was it was just in my soul. I could not do without it. And then it was not even smoking was not even the problem. It was just part of it, and I was struggling. I met someone, a guy in Enugu, that was tr trying to bring me to Dominion City. I always attend church and all that, but I was just struggling with this thing. And then December, I said I was going to, I made a decision that I was going to stop everything. I stopped, but I was still struggling. There was this, there was this hole that needed to be filled. Like there was this vacuum that in my heart, I knew that something was missing. Then I went for encounter on Friday. After the um, sections we had, they grouped us in tents. And Pastor Jude was the one that was taking my section. And then they gave us a sheet of paper where we, we should tick the things that we are struggling with. I got that paper and the thing I was struggling with was not there. And then he now said, after praying with us, he said he wanted to talk to us one-on-one. -on -one. He got to my turn and he was like, how are you? I said, I was fine. And then he said, talk to me. I said, where do I start? Now this thing is not on this paper. It's not on this paper. And he said to me and looked at me and he told me, you come and see a man that has told me all my sins. He, has, he told me that, oh, is it this thing? And I looked. I could not say any, I, could, I can't say this thing to anybody. And he looked at me and he told me what I was struggling with. And I said, yes, this is it. I was crying because I, I, I wanted to be free. And then, he prayed for me. He prayed for me and I started, I started shouting. I lost my voice while I was shouting. I was shouting. I was on the floor. Something left me. It was rolling on the floor. I could see it. It was rolling. I was... <laughs> and then he asked, do you have the gift of the Holy Spirit? I said, no. And he said, I give it to you. Oh, and I shouted. And I started speaking in tongues. Oh. I was liberated. <laughs> I can't explain. Nobody understands what Jesus has done for me. Nobody. Let's lift our hands oh. and worship him. We thank you. Thank you.